investigates prescription for danger. Your emails and calls poured in when we first brought you this story. And tonight, a chilling warning from a South Florida man who fears his life will be cut short because of a prescribed antibiotic. All this as CBS4 Chief Investigator Michelle Gillen digs deep to find out what the FDA may not be telling you. In your opinion, what does having taken Levaquin, how has that affected your life? It has destroyed it, completely destroyed it. Um, as you can see, it killed my teeth. It has uh, destroyed my jaw, so I cannot have any oral surgery to repair it. It has dissolved my tendons and connective tissue, and my muscles are actually decaying and my prognosis is very dim. 60-year-old Joseph King of North Miami says his life changed and he believes could end prematurely because of what he considers to be a toxic poisoning by the antibiotic Levaquin. Levaquin is one of a class of antibiotics called fluoroquinolones coming under heightened scrutiny by some medical researchers and the public. Four years ago, King says he was prescribed Levaquin in an ER after suffering from salmonella poisoning, food poisoning. I was given it intravenously and then I was put on a dose of it orally for the next 30 days. As we first reported to you, this class of antibiotics carries a black box warning, including for possible tendon injuries. Since our first report, we've learned something more. This is an internal FDA safety report on the potential negative impact this class of drugs has on nerve endings. But dig deep and you'll find the FDA's own revelation of how these drugs can essentially impact you in a way similar to neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and ALS. If these drugs can affect the function of our cells, the mitochondria, and ultimately the brain, Alan Redd, biological anthropologist, says it's chilling. They state explicitly in there that mitochondrial dysfunction can um, be associated with neurological diseases like Alzheimer's, ALS, and Parkinson's. So, so there's a disconnect between the document, the internal document, and what was released to the public. And I find that disturbing. I find that outrageous, actually. You also say that you have been harmed by taking this particular class of drugs. Red says he was damaged by taking this class of antibiotics five years ago. He says he suffered a number of side effects and they have not resolved completely. Meanwhile, Red is pushing for more transparency from the FDA regarding its own findings, joining supporters of a citizen's petition filed with the FDA last June. Come clean and, and um, tell the public and the physicians that this class of drugs, as you've noted in your document, has the potential to damage mitochondria, mitochondria cause dysfunction, and potentially increase your probability of getting neurological diseases. Joe King agrees. Michelle, not only is the public not aware of this, the doctors are not aware of it either. King agrees with most experts that these drugs can be life-saving for many, especially in cases of life-threatening illnesses. But he fears without additional warnings, other patients could find themselves walking in his shoes. And now your, your goal is to make it each day. The manufacturer of Levaquin provided us this statement. Levaquin is part of an important class of anti-infected prescription medications that have been used for more than 20 years to treat infections, including those that may be serious or life-threatening. When used according to product labeling, Levaquin has been proven to have a favorable benefit-risk profile. And about that internal document, the FDA tells us it cannot comment on pending citizens' petitions and referred us to their webpage where the current black box warning is detailed. Michelle Gillen, CBS4 News, tonight.